Hi, I'm Pete with Greenhouse Pest Management. We are Atlanta's true natural pest control company. Treating for swordfish, that's a, that's a, that's a big job. Uh, you know, it's just not as simple as, as people expect it to be uh, because swordfish will lead to lots of things, moisture issues, mildew damage, um, just a, a huge stock of just paperwork, boxes and things like that. So one of the things uh, to treat for them is to understand their biology and understand their habits and understand where they're actually nesting at. Uh, common things are shingles. You, know, you can go outside, lift your shingles up, and you just see a huge amount of swordfish in those shingles. And what happens is that you just have a huge variety of um, swordfish that are coming out because it's just way overpopulated over there. Um, other things are just moisture, moisture behind the sheetrock. One of the things that we need to do is we need to look at uh, taking off the light switch, applying a, a pesticide dust in this wall void so when they do come across it, they're picking up that pesticide that way before they enter in. Also, along baseboards, getting underneath the baseboards. Um, anywhere that they can access into the home through the sheetrock is going to be the key uh, way of eliminating your problems. Some of the easiest ways to get behind wall voids is to simply is just going to be behind uh, light plates. Um, they leave nice little access points to get into these wall voids right here. And what a dust does, a dust will uh, spread throughout this whole entire wall void. It's a real light dust and it's going to lay down like a nice little film. Okay, uh, most common uh, mistakes that people do is they grab the dust, they, they put a pile on the ground hoping that bugs will come across it. Incompletely wrong. Another way to help reduce the amount of silverfish that are coming into the house is actually using uh, pheromone traps. They, they do make uh, pheromone traps that are actually just kind of cardboard with the uh, pesticide boric acid in it. Uh, put those in strategic places, bathrooms, above cabinets, uh, places where kids and pets cannot reach because it is toxic. Uh, so pheromones are always going to be a, a good key for eliminating them as well.